Hello and welcome to Atlanta International Airport. As you saw by the title, today we're going to be taking a ride on Southwest's 737-700 from Atlanta over to Richmond. And we're finally out of that very long Christmas security line. Props to anybody that works at the Atlanta airport though, because it went very smooth and fast. It only took about 30 minutes. Anyways, let's head down this escalator and head over to the Charlie Concourse to meet our Southwest 737. And here's our aircraft that's going to be taking us up north today, November 421 Lima Victor, a 22-year-old 737-700 delivered near the Southwest in February of 2002. And here's a Southwest 737 MAX, one of many in Southwest's fleet, again, one that we're supposed to be on. <laughs> yeah. And now welcome aboard Southwest's 737-700. This plane has 143 seats configured in a 3-3 configuration. Uh, I'll take 16D as my choice for this flight. Obviously, this isn't Southwest's newest hard product. Of course, the newer 737-800s and the Max 8s come with their slimline seats, bigger overhead bins, and better cabin lighting. But, I mean, for its age, this is fine. And time for a seat review. If you look in front of her face, you'll find no PTVs, but Southwest does offer online entertainment services, which we'll check out later in the flight. Legroom was pretty good. I'm about 5'11", and it was fairly comfortable. You get two armrests on this plane. One on the left, one on the right. The right side has a recline feature, which does work as intended. Seats for this flight were pretty darn comfortable. It was a short one, but they had no complaints for me. Now, the headrests are the older Southwest hard product ones, so they're not adjustable, but they were perfectly fine. And that's about all you'll find on the Southwest plane. Isaiah all right well let's go ahead and push back and get this plane headed up north
and all things covered. Keep more about your oxygen.